What's up guys, it's John Reeves live and today we're going to be checking out a pentatonic song. This is actually called Imagine. Now before we get into this, I'm not 100% sure if this is a cover or an original. Now if it's a cover, I'm going to tell you guys a full funny story about myself at the end of this song because if it is a cover, that was the first ever song I ever played live and I'll tell you guys at the end of this video if that is either way if y'all are new to the channel please smash that sub button and let's get into this video right freaking now three two one boom hmm. okay it's a cover Glad to hear him singing a little bit too. Above a sky. Imagine all the people for today. I love that line. Imagine there's no country. Alright, I gotta talk about that really quick, okay? This is the first song that I ever performed live in my life that was not a metal song. And in saying that, that vocal run right there is the first vocal run that I had ever done in a live performance ever that I knew that I was going for a run. That was my first run to ever do. And uh, I'm getting like chills and freaking nostalgia just listening to this. I, I love this so much. I'm going to go back. Oh, life and peace, you. Never brought us a you miss it. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the world will be as one. Will be as one. I just want to say this like what's happening on these cards is not lost on me and I'm like getting freaking chills about how cool this is dude
That's freaking awesome. Oh my God. I feel like that's exactly what they were talking about when they originally wrote that song. I love that so much. We are all freaking humans, regardless of our differences. Whenever I say spread positivity and be kind to one another, there's no exclusions to that. I mean, everybody be kind to each other. Boom. I don't know. Either way, I love that video so much. That was freaking awesome. The ending there was freaking intense. They were all kind of flexing. And it's cool because it was like a structured... So you could tell that there was like people that were kind of still keeping the rhythm going on. Keeping kind of like the bass notes and stuff like that continuing. That was like a master class in how to freaking have all of your members pretty much seemingly doing their own individual things. And individual solos. But they were really collectively working towards something. That sounded beautiful i really loved this cover of imagine i think that they did such a freaking good job and a quick story time for you guys because i was pretty sure that this was going to be the beatles imagine so 16 years old uh my mom asked me what i want to do and i grew up in a very very small town i was a guitar player and i did like metal screaming in bands had no idea about singing before the starting of the school year my mom was like what would you like to do you want to do any extracurricular stuff and I said I'd love to do vocal lessons because I didn't want to like screw my voice up. I didn't really want to like sing and I kind of looked, I didn't like poppy music or anything like that. Everything I listened to, there was like minute amount of singing in it and mostly was screaming. She signed me up for vocal lessons. I had the most amazing vocal coach. Her name is Kelly Workman. She was like four foot nothing. But whenever I first went into my first vocal class with her, sits at this beautiful grand piano it was amazing so i walk in there there's this huge concert hall and it's just me her and a piano and she was like what do you want to learn and i played her some like rock music that i liked that had some singing in it which essentially was avenge sevenfold i won't see you tonight i was like i'd like to know how to do these things that he's doing had amazing time with her doing vocal classes well the first vocal recital that i do she was like i'd like you to work on this beatles song imagine she was like, here's a CD of it or something like that to practice along with. And then we did recitals. And that part, that line, that run is was like my favorite part of it. Whenever he hits this falsetto, beautiful. So I was really excited to do this. Fast forward, I have at this time played full concerts in Nashville, sold out at small venues, and I'm playing guitar and screaming metal. And like, I've already done these shows. I go to a vocal recital. It's me, like 16 year old, this guy, probably a band shirt on or something like that. Kelly, my freaking four foot something vocal teacher and a grand piano. And my mom, all of my family are there, 10 year old kids that are doing their vocal recitals before me. And then I get up on stage. I'm freaking terrified, freaking out. Like this is the most nervous for a live performance I've ever had in my life because it's just me and Kelly and I'm singing and I'm like oh god it was the scaredest I have ever been for a performance I had a full-blown panic attack beforehand threw up backstage meanwhile there's like these eight-year-old kids getting up and singing like twinkle twinkle little star and they're totally chill they're not even stressed but then they see this like 16 year old freaking 6'3 dude in the back like throwing up terrified and they're like oh god maybe I should be nervous so like leading up to that was the most scared I think I've ever been before a concert I got up there I did my vocal performance there was no like judging or anything like that everybody was like oh yay I'm I mean like man either way first live non-metal song I ever did I was terrified and I loved every freaking minute of it that song has a lot of like meaning to me and um I love the fact that Pentatonix did a cover of this, and I think that everything that that video stood for was freaking beautiful. Spread some positivity, be kind to one another, and if anybody needs anything at all, all of my socials are at John Reeves Live, and I'll catch y'all next time. Freaking toodles!